Hello students, welcome. I am Jyoti Rajput and today we are going to talk about the cell junctions. As you can see in the diagram, these are the cell. They are having the plasma membrane. So the plasma membrane of the adjacent cells, they do interact with each other at a particular location, at a particular site. These sites are called as junctions. So these site or you can see the junction, they are the one which is very much helpful. So these junctions help the cells to remain close to each other. You can see the two cells, they are glued to each other. You can see these junctions, they are also playing important role for the passage of some molecules, the molecules which can move from one cell to the another. And there are some of the junctions which will act as a barrier. It means it will not allow the movement of molecules from one cell to the another cell, like that of the transfer of ions, or you can say the transfer of molecules. It is going to be prevented. So there are a number of functions of the junctions which we will study in this video. So on the basis of their shape and closeness, they have been given some names like zonules, macule, occludens, adherens. So first we will talk about the zonule. Zonule, it is a junction. It is in the form of the strip. The second is the macule. Macule, it is a place. It is a spot. You can say the junction. It is called as macule. So here you can see this is one cell plasma membrane and this is another cell plasma membrane. Both the cells they are uniting at a place that is called junction. So the spot it is called as macule. The next is the occludens. Occludens here in this you can see this is a plasma membrane of one cell and this is the plasma membrane of another cell. Here they are so close in contact with each other that sometimes they may even be fused with each other. Next is the adherence. Adherence here this is the one cell this is plasma membrane of one cell and this is a plasma membrane of another cell. Here, these both the cells, they are widely separated from each other and this separation, it is filled with the dense material. So in the eukaryotic cell, there are a number of junctions present. So the very first junction which we will study that is called as tight junction. In this tight junction, this is the plasma membrane of one cell and this is the plasma membrane of another cell. It means these are the two cell plasma membrane which is in contact with each other and they are so close, they are so much contact in each other that there is no space present between the plasma membrane of both the cell. So here the space it is completely lacking and that is why that is called tight junction. So you can see they are in the form of seal that blocks the free passage of molecules between two cells. So yahan par agar ye cell mein koi ions ya molecule hai to dusre cell mein nahi aa sakte. Aur ye dusre cell mein agar koi ions aur molecules hai to first cell mein nahi aa sakte. This is the use of tight junction. So the tight junction, the other one which is completely separating both the cell through the plasma membrane. So there is no free diffusion taking place between the cell, no diffusion of proteins, nor there is diffusion of lipid between the cell. So here these tight junctions, it is easily seen in the brain cells, like for example, blood brain barrier. The brain, it is never in contact with the blood. This is because of the tight junction. And one more example, like the synaptic barriers, they also have tight junction. Even when we talk about the intestine, the cells which is present in intestine, they are also in contact with each other. But both the cells, the cells which are going to be adjacent, they are having the tight junctions. The tight junction, they are also present in the gallbladder and also in the collecting tubule of the kidney. The next is the gap junction. Here, if you see this diagram, it is usually seen in the multicellular organism. The gap junctions, it is seen in the multicellular organism. This is one cell and this is a plasma membrane of one cell. Or ye dusra cell hai and this is a plasma membrane of another cell. Here, both the cells, they are in contact with each other. So, jo bhi activities ek cell mein hogi, to wo transfer ho jayegi dusre cell mein. Matlab ki there is going to be the transfer of the molecules taking place between both the cell by the help of the gap junctions. So, here... Both the cells, they are closely coordinated or jo bhi signaling molecules hain, they are also coordinated to each other. So, ye special kind ke junctions hain. And here, you can see these proteins. These are transmembrane proteins. We call them, these are connexin. 
these are hexagonal in shape you can see these are six units are present in these connection and they due to this only there is going to be the transfer of molecules or ions from one cell to the another cell so the gap junctions they help to be the cells they are always in contact with each other the regulation of channels so here the gap junction it will act like a channel and the ions the molecules are easily able to move from one cell to the another so agar ions or molecules if they are about less than 1000 dalton to wo aasani se diffuse ho jayenge ek cell se to dusre cell mein from higher concentration to lower concentration they even connect the electric response and metabolic activities and the individual connection jo it consists of the six subunits six subunits are present in this connection so the electrical synapse can be closed and open in response to various signals so ye jo connection agar koi signal hota hai to ye open ho jayenge and here the transfer of molecule will take place and when the no, it is not required then the connection it can be closed also so at that time the molecules won't be able to get transferred next is about the desmosomes the desmosomes here you can see this is the one cell and this is the another cell so the plasma membrane they are adjacent to each other so here the plasma membrane of epithelial cells that is separated by a distance and this distance is about 300 to 500 angstrom so there are some area on the plasma membrane that becomes thick so here this is the area of the plasma membrane which is going to become thick and it is going to be called as the plug so desmosomes they are abundant present in the skin cells in the heart muscles in the neck of the uterus formation of the desmosome takes place in the embryonic development and it is the one which will play important role in maintaining the cell position during the embryonic development so here further when we move towards the inside here this is the space which is present between the cell so towards the interior of the cell as we go here there are fine filament present here there are fine filament present in this interior side those are called as tonofibrils or you can say tonofilament they radiate towards the inner side and they form a structure this green one structure this is called as plug so these tonofibrils which is present in the plug it is always in contact with this cytoskeleton elements the transmembrane protein if you see in this structure these are the transmembrane protein these transmembrane proteins these are called as desmocolons and desmoglein they bind to the heterophilic interaction they bind to the heterophilic interaction across the junction the desmosome these are the one which are having the space between two cell the space is about 0.2 micron and the main function of desmosome is that to glue the two cells which are adjacent to each other and you can say it is giving a structural support so aisi baat ho gayi agar suppose individuals ko khada kar dein okay और अगर सब इंडिविजुअल्स एक दूसरे के हाथ पकड़ लें तो एक दूसरे को ये क्या दे रहे हैं सपोर्ट दे रहे हैं सो so, वैसे ही डेस्मोसोम है देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द सेल बट दे आर इन कांटेक्ट विद ईच अदर विद अ लिटिल लिटिल स्पेस इन बिटवीन द सेल्स देयर आर टाइप्स ऑफ द डेस्मोसोम दैट इज हेमी डेस्मोसोम हेमी डेस्मोसोम्स जो हैं here it is going to be half of the desmosome so these are the structures that connect the cell to the underlying basal structures they are morphologically similar to desmosome but these are the desmosome and this is hemidesmosome so this is going to be the half of the desmosome you can see so morphologically similar to honge desmosome same only difference is that they are of the half portion so here this is how the hemidesmosome it looks like and it was described by the kelly the next type of desmosome is the septate desmosome so here this is a plasma membrane of one cell and this is a plasma membrane of another cell so ye jo distance hoga cell ke beech mein it is going to be 300 to 500 angstrom and they remain attached by a transverse parallel septum ye jo junction kehlaya jayega it is going to be called as septate desmosome so they lack the intercellular cementing material and there is absence of tonofilament also and they permit the intercellular communication and electric coupling so here this is how our chapter end that is plasma membrane so these are some of the questions which are asked uh, define 
explain plasma membrane, intrinsic protein, extrinsic protein, passive transport, simple diffusion, endocytosis, exocytosis, tight junctions, desmosome, hemidesmosome. These are some of the short answers which is asked like chemical composition of cell membrane, fluid mosaic model, structure and functional features of fluid mosaic model, function of plasma membrane, active transport, cell junctions. And these are some of the long answers like the differentiate between active and passive transport, describe different types of passive transport, describe the process of endocytosis and exocytosis, describe the various functions of plasma membrane, describe the various types of cell junctions. So this is how our video ends and thank you very much.